Hi, it's uh, Mark Chris again, uh, continuing on our discussions about uh, new therapies for patients with uh, early stage lung cancers. Um, I've talked about the questions posed to me uh, by the uh, members of the uh, tumor board at Hartford Hospital. And the third question they asked me was, for stage 3A patients that are resectable, that are potential candidates for either surgical resection or definitive concurrent chemotherapy and radiation, uh, like the uh, Dervalumab trial, uh, how do you choose among them? And that's a tough question. Uh, as you know, remember the goal here is to cure patients. Uh, and uh, the group of people we're talking about are those that are uh, both operable and resectable. I think for those that aren't, it's a clear choice to use concurrent chemotherapy radiation followed by dravalumab. But for those that are both operable and resectable, which one do you, do you choose? Um, there, of course, is no direct comparison with these two approaches. I think they both uh, have been shown to lead to cures. Uh, the uh, trial of dravalumab is more mature. There's now five-year survival data showing improvement in disease-free survival at five years. Uh, I would say that an equivalent of cure. So which do you choose? Um, again, my bias is surgical, uh, but uh, that's not right for every patient. I think where does surgery make the most sense? I think for larger primary tumors where uh, the radiation planning uh, and radiation uh, adverse effects could be more problematic, it may make some sense to operate on resectable larger primary tumors. There, there is a, a sweet spot for radiation uh, and uh, generally uh, tumors that are uh, smaller are somewhat easier to give a curative dose. I think the second issue is the availability of resources and staff and experience at your institution. Uh, many institutions do not have the thoracic surgery capabilities to do these more complicated resections in the stage 3A patients, particularly after neoadjuvant therapy. Uh, there are institutions around the world in the country that do not have the capability uh, to deliver uh, the radiation in the uh, proper planning and proper way. Uh, for those patients, surgery may be a bad, better approach uh, with neoadjuvant therapy followed by surgery. Uh, for patients where the surgery would, may not be available, uh, it may be better to recommend concurrent chemotherapy and radiation uh, followed by dravalumab. Uh, the other issue, of course, is uh, the patient. Many patients are very interested in the uh, concept of surgery. They uh, feel that um, the uh, resection is something that is very important to them. Uh, and if it can be done safely, it meets the needs and wishes of the patient and their care team, uh, then it makes sense to do an operation. Uh, as you know, my bias is always generally to do surgery. Uh, I like the ability to uh, completely remove the cancer uh, definitively stage it, uh, and I, I tend to favor that. Many patients, however, are very reluctant to proceed with surgery. Uh, so where this decision is one where there is no uh, certainty that one approach is better than the other, I think the uh, uh, patient's uh, feeling about which treatment is best for them is something that's very, very important, and particularly we have the capability to give either concurrent chemotherapy and radiation definitively or a surgery uh, that makes the most sense. Just a quick reminder, please make that decision up front. Uh, there is no track record for any kind of a regimen to take a patient who is not resectable and make them resectable. Um, I would choose the best plan for that patient up front and follow through uh, in the absence of toxicity or uh, other considerations. So. The treatment of uh, locally advanced lung cancer has changed tremendously in the last many months. For patients that do not have a driver, immunotherapeutics are the treatments of choice. Uh, they can be given in the adjuvant or neoadjuvant setting. Uh, it is very important to make sure patients do not have a driver. Uh, the way to do that and to give the most options to patients is to 
do complete testing at the time of diagnosis, see if the driver is present. If it is, you go in one direction. If it isn't, you would go in the direction of it. You mean a therapeutic agent uh, with chemotherapy, either uh, pre preoperatively or postoperatively in the adjuvant setting. Uh, as I said to the group at uh, Hartford the day I spoke to them, results uh, in, are so much better for patients now. Uh, we can offer them more. We can offer them better outcomes. Uh, it is much harder for oncologists uh, to make these decisions. We need to make more decisions. However, uh, I think all of us like nothing better than to offer our patients the best chance of cure, which we can do here.